Tutorial to show you how to color splash your image. Uh, I'll color splash this one here, Donna. Now, you first have to add your photos, right? Go to File, Add Photos, and then you should grab them from your memory card on your left side, or if you download them on your desktop, or wherever you put place them, make sure that you, that's where you go and find them, right? So wherever you have them, on your desktop, on your downloads, on your memory card, you can grab them from that once you add photos. Then once you add it, you click Review for Import, and then it takes you to a window that asks you, are you sure this is what you want? You press Review for Import, and then Add Photos, and then you should get your photos. All right, so this is how you color splash. So we're gonna color splash the red here, the red that's on, on, on this model here. So I'm going to click on this little uh, meter here up here where we have the different levels, right? And then you're going to go down here. So you go out. This is what I like to do. I like to close these out. These ones, the ones I'm not using. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and click, click these off. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's color. So we're going to use the color mixer. We're going to use saturation. Okay. Make sure that it's on saturation. It should be defaulted on there. And then I'm going to click all the way to the left. This is what I like to do first. I like to put everything in black and white first and then pull everything else out. Do this, do that. You can see all the colors now start separating. Okay, so I'm going to add the red in. You can see where all the red appears. I'm going to add a little bit of orange because that red has some orange. You can see the difference. See, it gives it a little bit of some little, little body to it, like a backbone to it. Add some of that, but it also adds orange to her skin and other places. We'll get rid of those in a bit. Uh, I'm not going to add any yellow. I'm not going to add any green, aqua, or any of that. Maybe a little magenta, just to also give it a little bit more depth. And you never want to go all the way this way, because then it oversaturates. That's what this is, saturation. So I'm going to keep it right there. Keep the orange there. And then now... To get rid of everything else, I'm going to click on this brush here, okay, and then I'm going to click once, because I'm going to get rid of everything else in here, like I'm going to brush all this out, and then the exposure, the contrast, the highlights, all you can adjust all of that. So I'm just going to adjust the saturation to black and white and see how it disappears. So anywhere that I paint, it's going to change it to black and white. Now. This brush here controls that. Because look, look what happens when I do this. See that? So make sure that you don't, or you just go back to zero. You can click on it, put zero, hit return. You just want to click saturation and remove anything else that you do not, you do not want color splashed. So I'm just going to leave the McDonald's and her glasses and her little bowl at the top. Just like that. Not, not even her skin, everything else. Make my brush smaller by hitting my bracket keys, which is above the return key on your keyboard to the left to make it smaller. You can also make the brush size smaller here. Okay, now if you messed up in any of the parts like I did in some some places I'm going to zoom into that area and they're a little nitpicky stuff but it's okay um, so this is what you do you go ahead and make the brush size the same size where you can repaint that and just do your saturation so, <clears throat> sorry go to your eraser up here on the right side the eraser and then you're going to just Go ahead and erase that back in there. So I'm using the shift key, clicking there, and the shift key to make one straight line. The shift key, click there, shift key here, makes it a straight line. See, like that. 
you need to go in there. See, as long as it says minus, you're good to go with that minus button. That minus button means you're adding it back in to the color, adding the color back in. See right there on our lips. Just like that. Okay. And then it should be fine. So you command zero or command minus. So that's how you retouch your photo into a color splash image. Remember, color splash is not necessarily a one color. It's a mixture of colors that make it look like one color. All right, so once you're done, you're going to click the little um, icon up here, right? Then you're going to click your cloud. Just want to make sure everything's good, all right? Then you're going to click here, and you're going to save it as an original. Sorry, JPEG large. Like this, click on it. Then it's going to ask you where to save them. So save them somewhere you can find them. You put them on desktop, put color splash, and then create. And then I'm going to put it right in there. And it saved it. Now you can go on to the next image. If you have any questions, just go ahead and email me or just call on me and I'll be able to help you out. Thank you, Mustangs.